Hello again, I am Blunty. This weekend just gone, I was at PAX Australia, of course. I was in Alienware with there, of course, they were. And at the Alienware booth, there was a man named Joe Olmstead. I'm pretty sure I said your name right. If Joe, if you're listening and I screwed up, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, he is the Director of Product Planning at Alienware, and I'm pretty sure I got the job title Right, again, Joe, if you're watching, I'm sorry if I screwed that up. I should have checked all this before I started pressing record, but I don't. Regular viewers know I don't because I'm just lazy and, and names just don't stick in my head for very long, so I just have to roll with it. Anyway, they were showing off three brand new products at PAX Australia, one of which was announced at PAX. There was, no one else knew about it before PAX started, and they had one sitting there. It was a 13-inch gaming laptop, and it had this huge brick thing that you could plug into it. You can put a desktop uh, 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 graphics card into the thing and get desktop performance on a 13 inch <laughs> anyway I'll have a separate video on that because that's kind of exciting I also have a separate video on the Alienware uh, Area 51 their, their huge triangular desktop rig thing which was all kinds of cool but this video is about the thing that had me most excited and is the Alienware Alpha that's their, uh, their well it was going to be a Steam console before Steam sort of delayed and delayed and delayed their Steam controller but Alienware went ahead with it and uh, produced it anyway with their own front end but for the rest of the video I'll let Joe tell you all about it at the end of the video I'll ask him some questions I do have to apologize for the less than optimal audio situation when we're doing the interview on the show floor which was very noisy and the Alienware booth happened to be right next to the League of Legends booth which if you've ever been to a show like this you know is extremely noisy uh, so there's a lack of my voice because the microphone just didn't pick me up and the microphone I had pinned to Joe picked him up okay -ish. so the, I'm making excuses the audio is not great but uh, the content is some really interesting stuff going on here with the Alienware Alpha take it away Joe so my name is Joe Olmstead I'm the director of product planning for Alienware today we're here at uh, PAX down here in Melbourne Australia very excited about being here. First time we've done a show this big, and the first time we've certainly used Australia to launch uh, brand new products. This week we introduced three new products, the Alienware Alpha, the Alienware 13-inch notebook, and of course the Area 51. We also have introduced a companion product called the Alienware Graphics Amplifier. It connects into the Alienware 13 notebook. It allows you to add a 375 watt desktop graphics card to the notebook as if it was inside the notebook. So let's talk about the Alpha for a minute. We built the Alpha purpose-built to be a gaming machine for the living room. And to overcome what the living room has, we wanted to make certain you didn't need a keyboard and mouse. Every Alpha ships with a Microsoft Xbox 360 game controller. You don't need a keyboard and mouse to go through setup. You go straight into a UI that we created called the Alpha UI. It allows you to set resolution, change networking, uh, configure your updates, virtually any other control panel item that you need to run. One thing to point out is that it's still a Windows-based PC. You can still plug in a keyboard and a mouse. You can play any game. We ship with Steam Bit Picture Mode turned on. It gives you access to the 3,600 titles that you, current, that you may or may not have, including the 600 that are 100% controller compatible. But if you want to play another game like the background audio, which is World of Warcraft, plug in a keyboard and mouse, download, install, you're good to go. In fact, when you plug in a keyboard and mouse, the UI recognizes that and says, do you want to exit to desktop? So it'll kick you back out to the desktop, then you're in the standard Windows environment. We also designed it to uh, be designed for living room audio. Out of the back, you've got optical to go to sound bars or wireless headsets, or you've got HDMI audio on your TV. So we've really worked to overcome the limitations of the living room. We've designed it to be very quiet. You won't hear it running full bore. It says Bluetooth 4.0. Comes with uh, AC networking as well. Uh, like all Alienware products, we still include a Ethernet port. We believe Ethernet's a great way to game, to do multiplayer gaming. Unlike most other consoles out there, we also designed it to be upgradable. You can upgrade the CPU, memory, hard drive, even the wireless card later on as you need to. We had NVIDIA do a custom graphics card for us. Because of the size of the box, we couldn't incorporate a standard form factor desktop graphics card. We felt the size was really key. The performance is somewhere above what a mobile 860M from NVIDIA would run at, but it's just a custom uh, Maxwell card. We actually have uh, on our website a bunch of different game videos showing actual gameplay. In addition here at the show, we have six systems running 
uh, the various games that we've recommended for Alpha. It's available today for pre-order at JB Hi-Fi in Australia as well as Alienware.com.au. Starts at $6.99. That's the Alienware Alpha. So we know that people follow content. So if you want to play Halo, you buy an Xbox. If you wanted to play Half-Life, you bought a PC. So we, we know that customers follow content, and we know that the PC gaming has been regulated to the back room for too long. And so we think the Alpha allows you to finally have all of that fun, all of that content on the couch next to your buddy so you can play companion games, not just online games through a wire uh, down the road. So we really think it's going to appeal to the 100 million Steam owners, Steam owners uh, and it'll appeal to really PC gamers in general. So when Valve launches the SteamOS, in fact now if you go into the Valve website and download the SteamOS, it'll run perfectly fine. It's already built in to support that. Uh, but once the Steam Controller launches and the SteamOS launches, we'll offer that alongside the Windows version. We will probably, the way that we will do it out of our factories, we'll ship a SteamOS version and we'll ship a Windows version. I think that covers it.